Hey guys, welcome back. It's Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk more about the He-Man quote-unquote anime series coming from Netflix. We were actually pretty excited at the initial announcement yesterday. Yeah. Uh, we were. Until you read more about it. Until we, well, okay, so we kind of jumped the gun. Now, still have some hope for this, right. but... We, we have to see more. I mean, I have, it's, as a case where I had to see more, I'm hoping they don't go down this that route again, but I have to see more. Okay, so the route she's worried about is the synopsis basically says this show is going to focus on Tila. Of course it is, because, you know, that you makes know, sense. Which I, I don't know if that's something anybody wants the He-Man show to focus on Tila, but, you know, to be fair, Tila was very, very prominent in the original series, but it sounds like from the synopsis, they might actually sideline He-Man in favor of the sidekicks. Yeah, that doesn't, that just doesn't make any sense. I hope this is not what they're going to do because that's not going to play well unless it's really, really damn good. Uh, who knows? Who knows? Let me guess. Mattel wanted to do the show and then Netflix is like, well, you can do the show, but you have to have it be featured on a strong key female character because we're getting a lot of backlash for canceling women. So you better make sure it's female so focused. <laughs> blame Tuka and Birdie's uh, cancellation for them uh, shifting focus on He-Man away from He-Man to Tila. I don't know. Uh, before we get into the video, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Yep. There might be a rant in this one. There might be. <laughs> um, uh, we just passed 50,000 subs last week. We're hoping to hit uh, 50,000 more by the end of the year. I don't know if that's possible, but we're going to try. Mm -hmm. We're going to try. So the synopsis came out after we did our initial video. We actually did the video within, I think, a half an hour of them announcing mm -hmm. the show at PowerCon. Here is the official synopsis, and let's let's examine this. A radical return to Eternia, he, uh, Masters of the Universe Revelation, is a direct sequel series to the classic era of Masters of the Universe. Featuring fan favorites He-Man, Orko, Cringer, and Man-at-Arms, the story pits our heroic warriors and guardians of Castle Grayskull against Skeletor, wait, wait. Evil, and... Sorry, I'm sorry, Guardians is like princesses of power? Well, the Masters of the Universe... I know, I know, I'm in, just saying, are they going to go there? Okay, go ahead. I hope not. I hope they'll, they don't fight Skeletor with the power of, of the Care Bear Stare Rainbow. I, I hope not. Um, so, against Skeletor, Evil, and Beastman in the vile legions of Snake Mountain. But... Here's the but. But, there's always a but. But, after a ferocious final battle forever fractures Eternia, it's up to Tila to solve the mystery of the missing sword of power in a race against time to prevent the end of the universe, her journey will uncover the secrets of Grayskull at last. This is the epic He-Man and the Masters of the Universe saga fans have waited 35 years to see, but without, without He-Man. I want to solve the mystery of the where the why went in the word mystery. And and also the, uh, yeah, well, mm -hmm. they were in a hurry. They were in a hurry. Um, But, so wait, 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 wait. So her journey will uncover the secrets of Grayskull at last. Tila has to solve the mystery and it's her journey. This is what I'm concerned about. Um, I Okay, as a mom, I have a son and a daughter, okay? And I'm a woman myself. I'm all you for, are? I am. I'm all for, you know, women, women female-led shows. Always have been. I'm not gonna lie and say they've always been as prominent as male-led shows, because I mean, there have been really good female-led shows, but they aren't as prominent, they haven't been. But now it's gone the other way. It's like every damn show has to be led, has to be a female-led show, and it's getting kind of ridiculous. And I'm like, you know, the audience is gonna be half boy, half girl. Why do we have to keep? Why can't we just have a balance? Like in the original He-Man, Teal was pretty much almost like the set. You know, she was like right under He-Man as far as you know importance in the show. It seemed. Yeah, she was definitely the second most important character on the show. Right. Usually. Yeah. So now He-Man's. It sounds like there's gonna be a big battle. He-Man's gonna disappear, and now it's up to Teela. So the whole show is going to be Teela. I'm like, no, that's not what people want, Mattel. That's that's the way it sounds to me. It sounds like yeah, they're gonna have a big. Uh, because they talked about teasing the final battle between He-Man and Skeletor. It sounds to me like they're going to have a big battle. Something happens to He-Man. He can't get the sword. So there's no... Without the power sword, there's no He-Man. So is she going to discover the secrets of Castle Grayskull at last and then suddenly be able to use the sword? And now she's, you know, T-Law. T-Ra. No, you can't say T-Ra. That sounds racist. She's, you know... She's... I'm <laughs> like, you know... This T-Ra, is, is Yeah, I'm just like, you know... I, I, you had me until that. I mean, why? And then this epic He-Man and Masters of the Universe saga. Well, it doesn't sound like as much He-Man to me. is what fans have waited 35 years to see. Yeah, they've waited 35 years to see He-Man. Sidelined. Not side. Yeah, not sidelined for <laughs> Tila. I mean, yeah, come side on, guys. How I, hard? How, 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 God, I swear. How fucking hard is it to work to figure this stuff out? It's not brain surgery. 
surgery. It's not rocket science. You have a formula that works. Use a, and you you want to bank on that name? You want to bank on that franchise? Use a damn formula that works. Just saying. Continue. Okay. Well, I'm just saying we we don't we don't know how the show's gonna play, but the synopsis does sound like He Man will right. be sidelined in his own show. Right. Well, no, because they're calling it Masters of the Universe now. They're not calling it He Man. It's not He Man Masters of the Universe. It's just Masters of the Universe uh, Revelation. The revelation is we never needed He-Man and his toxic masculinity. Uh, we never needed He-Man. It's, it's just, we can do it without well, He-Man. Well, I want to talk about that in a minute. But, you know, yeah, like I said, I, I came into this video being like, you know, because I hadn't actually read the synopsis. You just told me. And I came into the video thinking, okay, okay, we haven't seen enough yet. You know, benefit of the doubt, benefit of the doubt. Until I read that. And I'm like, no, 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 no. It says her journey. I mean, is that the official one or is that the comic That's book? the official. I was going to say, is that comicbook.com's take on the official? No, no, no. That's, that's actually, actual, that's the that quotes? was actually what was on the PowerPoint. Yeah, I see it's in quotes. The PowerPoint I'm just uh, like, you know, guys, come on. Seriously. So, I, I mean, where I do have hope, where I do have hope for this is, uh, yeah, I love this. I'm going to talk about this in a minute. Okay. Go ahead. Where I do have some hope is it is Powerhouse Studios that did uh, Castlevania. So, if nothing else, the art's probably going to be pretty good. The animation's going to be pretty good. Uh, now, some news outlets did call out that they're calling it anime. It is produced in the U.S., so technically it's not anime. Technically, Castlevania is not anime either, even though it's animated overseas. Right. You know, it's as much anime, I guess, as, like, the G1 Transformers. Well, that is true. You know. So, um, I mean, I'll give so them I'll that. So, I'll give them that. I'll give them that. Okay. Uh, but I think it'll look pretty. I just don't know. I, well, looking pretty and having a good story are two different things. Now, here's what was interesting. So, just for kicks and giggles, I went and searched she News for the last 24 hours because I'm like, okay, were they announced? Were they announced with a PowerCon for she -Ra? And what I came up with was a bunch of news stories about the new He-Man show. But instead of talking about the He-Man show, these articles instead made it about the she show and how shitty the He-Man show is. And they hope to God, they're mad that it's not being redone completely to make it the route of she -Ra. Yeah, everybody's bringing up Shira. Even comicbook.com, they're like, we don't know if it's going to tie into Noelle Stevenson Shira. No, it's I guarantee it's really not going not. to. And it's I like, because, you know, it but it's funny because you can't have a He Man show or any show without having to promote Shira and piss on He Man. Which I'm going to talk about this because there's one comment you're going to love. But let me. This <laughs> is scripted by the writers of Robot Chicken. Oh, but yeah, now if they said it was, that would be actually pretty funny. So I'm just going to go back up to this article. Actually, which one was it? Uh, this one here was they're talking about. Uh, on I AV think it was Club. IO9. I think was it was IO9. Well, IO... we'll go with each of these okay. first. Kevin Smith is making a new He-Man cartoon for Netflix. As announced today at PowerCon, Kevin Smith is making a He-Man cartoon. Unlike the excellent She-Ra, which it will presumably be totally unrelated to, this one won't be some kind of cool new take on the property, though. Well, I'm cool, it's subjective. Because quite frankly, She-Ra, the new She-Ra show, I'm just going to be flat out honest with you, is in name only. Basically, what happened was they had the rights to use She-Ra, and instead of staying with the She-Ra, true to the She-Ra story, they basically let Noel Stevenson make something completely different that has nothing to do with She-Ra, and it's mostly just She-Ra name slapped on it because they wanted brand recognition. But with brand recognition comes the fan base that have stayed with the damn franchise for 30-some years. You cannot just say, oh, you know, you're a bunch of man baby whiny babies because you didn't get your way when there's all these people who kept the franchise going. Literally bought the toys, bought the DVDs, kept it going, and now you're going to make a new show. And now you're using a name only. Okay, so first of all, so they have to immediately get in there that she was better and it's not going to be awesome like She-Ra. Okay? Yeah, right. And then they said, according to Presley, this will be a wholly original story that nonetheless focuses on unresolved storylines in the classic 80s era. And it'll be called Masters of the Universe Revelation. So it sounds like a sequel series, even though Netflix doesn't use that word. And they're talking about Smith being the, the showrunner. And then it gets here. Uh, they talk about saying he's eternally grateful to Mattel and Netflix for working on a show. And they're talking about just a groan-inducing pun. It says people who write this crap want to talk about groan-inducing. That pun isn't the only questionable thing about the press release, though. As Netflix, once again, is insisting on calling this an anime show, even though it's being made in America. Well, okay, I'll give you that. Totally give you that. Okay, coming from Powerhouse Studios, I'll give you that. The original show wasn't anime, so is Netflix trying to score anime cred by exaggerating how much anime it has? So basically, they're trying to piss all over it before it even starts because people don't like She-Ra. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's a very good point. Because, yeah, it is. Because... Yeah, we talked about this with Magic the Gathering, though, too, where they're billing it as anime, but clearly with CG. In this case, I will give it more anime cred because Castlevania actually was animated mm -hmm. overseas. 
So um, then they go on here. Um, yeah, this, this, comment. this comment right here. I will be extremely impressed if he manages to make something worth watching out of that. Trying to make a good He-Man show isn't just polishing a turd. It's giving a shallow brown smear left after Roomba runs over a turd, a full makeover, and some quick coaching so it can go on TV and present the weather. <laughs> Don't write them. I mean, seriously. This guy's in love with himself. It's staggering how fondly He-Man is remembered for a property that was hammered out in minutes and declared finished with a lazy half shrug by some dudes just trying to finish work early so they can go Ooh. home. Unlike Sheer, which is the bastion of creativity and an awesomeness when you have a war-torn country, a baby raised as a warrior who who is, you know, incompetent as a warrior um, until she gets the sword, even that sword she was incompetent with. And she's all she wants to do is go to prom and, and play with ponies. So, yeah, you know... Potter kettle, buddy. Yeah, people said the 2002 reboot was shockingly good. Um, regarding the problematic game usage, no, you're wrong in thinking it's a big issue. You're not wrong in thinking, but you're also part of a publication house that thinks life hacker is an acceptable term. <laughs> <laughs> so going out. Well, that's just up. one, but there were several of these articles that came up, and when you searched for news about Shira, there wasn't any. But they're trying to they're trying to shoehorn promotion of Shira into the promotion of He-Man and they're trying to make it like He-Man's, you know, basically like they're mad because it's problematic that He-Man is being based on the original show and not a completely new take like Noelle Stevenson's She-Ra, which I, is She-Ra name only. It is not She-Ra. It is Noelle Stevenson's show where she took her characters and slapped She-Ra names on it. That's what it is. This is funny. It sounds like the polar opposite of She-Ra by which, uh, I mean, it'll be bad. No one will make memes of it. I, I actually haven't seen any memes from She-Ra. I have come here seen and I'm all out of shanties. God, looks terrible. Anyway, so they're not really sure why she is getting all the love it's getting. It dropped the ball hard in season two. She was a really popular show. No, it's not. It's only popular because these places are being paid to promote the hell out of it. I don't care if it's not a masterpiece. she is definitely a higher standard than this. she is shit! God, Seriously? they're already starting. she it's like she They're deep characters. Their characters are not deep. They are not deep. I'm sorry. They're no deeper than the original. They just aren't. I'll give you Catra and Trap that are a little bit more likable in the new show. And that's it. They pretty much messed up the new show. And then, or messed up the original. And then they keep saying about, well, if people are whining about it, it's just a small group. No, it's not a small group. People just don't give a shit anymore. I love it. So this, okay, here's Gizmodo. Uh, Gizmodo. Netflix described it as a limited series and anime series. Everything on Netflix now is a limited series. Let's be honest. It gets a season she or two. She was a limited series. She was a limited series. We don't. I think this is because they announced, they made a big announcement about He-Man, a big to-do about He-Man at PowerCon. They did not announce She-Ra season that's what, that's 4. That's what I said. I looked up. I looked yeah. up She-Ra news, and this is all what came up. So the media is basically using the He-Man announcement to talk more about how awesome She-Ra is compared to those, those crusty old uh, shows. Well, did you see this? Netflix described it as a limited series and anime series, unlike Noel Stevenson She-Ra, and will feature character designs from Powerhouse Animation. It's unclear if Netflix is merely trying to go for the weeb audience, the weeb audience. or if Revelation will actually have some degree of anime influence. You mean like, unlike, you know, Princess of the Power, which clearly goes for the Tumblr audience, and it's really unclear whether they have, you know, an, you know animation influences that are anything good, because their animation in the first season was all over the effing place. You know, because singing horses are so much better. Um, it would be interesting if the franchise, if for the franchise, that's a Western, as Western as Masters of the Universe. Uh, yeah, so they're like, uh, they're going out of their way. They're like, well, this sounds like something that the hardcore audience would want. But, you know, it's yeah, not the hardcore audience, like Shira. You know, the fans who have been with the franchise the entire time and kept it alive, you know, the ones you keep insulting every other article they don't like Shira, those people. Yeah, and this is, again, I want to reiterate this show, like, look. We don't know where it's going to go. I, I am concerned that they're going to sideline He-Man. But this show is actually being produced by Mattel themselves. Mm -hmm. This is being produced by Mattel, not DreamWorks. You know, we said before about how DreamWorks basically just took the Shira name. That yeah, they, that's all they know, did. And, and slapped it on another show. Not that, not that the show, I mean, I'm being completely honest. Not that the show is completely terrible. But it's not Shira. No, it's that's something what else. Most, and then what made me most angry? The two things that made me most angry about the show is one, they're calling it Shira when it clearly is not Shira, and they're already starting on this show already that if you don't, you know, that there's it's problematic. The two things that made me mad about Shira was one, the fact that it is really just Shira name only. The show it really it, they have a coat of Shira paint on it, but it's clearly a different show. 
And two, the fact that when it came out with the character designs and all that, people didn't like it and immediately the media attacked the fandom. The fandom that has kept the show around, the fandom who makes the, the name worth it enough that DreamWorks thought they could just slap whatever and put the name on it and sell it, those people are bad and problematic. And that's what I, the two big reasons I was mad about the she thing. It's like, you know, just because I don't like it doesn't make me insert a name here. It just means I don't like it because I'm an old school fan. And I still gave it a chance. It still did. And they're already starting. So there's no announcement for She-Ra. So now to make sure She-Ra stays at the top, which I don't know if they're being paid off or what, they have to take the He-Man announcement and, and belittle it and insert She-Ra into it. Yeah, I think they're going to keep mocking this the whole whole time that they, they develop the show, probably, until they, they show that it actually is going to be the Tila show. And then they'll all be on board. It's all about Tila. Then they'll be on board. Uh, but He-Man's problematic. He's a problematic, toxic male, blonde hair, blue eyed, uh, threatening uh, male. You know, look at yeah, what he's doing just... with Skeletor. You know, he's he's very <laughs> well, threatening. I think these articles keep using that picture because here they did they did something like that too. Where they use the they're they're the, taking the, a the piss very on gay He-Man. He-Man picture. No, because He-Man. Okay, He-Man like GI Joe was a very like masculine franchise you know he man he's a big buff freaking you know whatever so any chance they get to to take a, a, a piss on he man they're going to just like gi joe any chance they get to take a piss on gi joe because of its toxic masculinity well, and you, the guns and the i've noticed you know, too about these stuff. articles of she it's written by a lot of men lately and it's like just so you know i'm one of, I, i'm on your side i'm not one of those other men there's a toxic male i'm good I'm, I'm the pro you know woke male that that is all about you know female empowerment and it's like okay but anyway i was gonna read this part um, they're talking about the show, but the She-Ra, of course, with She-Ra and the Princess of Power, in the second sentence in this article, proving that there's some magic between mind and nostalgia, provides a top-notch creative team, puts a fantastic new spin on the source material. Okay, so it's only good if there's a new, if they completely reinvent it because these people said so. She-Ra did just that more. With a stunning art style, no. An, An actual, actual storytelling? Story actual storytelling. That rewrote the book on the gloriously cheesy and glorified toy adverts from the 80s. You clearly, you people have clearly not watched the original show. You really, really haven't. Now it's time for Prince Adam to wield the power sword once again as He-Man is making a comeback. You basically start, we're doing an article about He-Man, right? He-Man. Second sentence on, you went on about She-Ra and how She-Ra is fantastic because it's a top-notch creative team. No, no it's not. Did you actually watch the original? Did you actually watch the new show? You clearly. Well, this guy really is. This guy really hates Kevin Smith. Oh yeah, see, at the Masters of the this. Universe celebration as the annual PowerCon event, film director Kevin Smith, who knows a thing or two about mining for nostalgia, as he still refers to himself as the guy who directed Clerks more than 20 years ago. Well, somebody sure has the hell's problem with anybody that's older than him. Reveals <laughs> the revival. Unlike She-Ra, this series won't be an entirely branded take on the franchise, but will instead pick up where the classic show ended and focus on finishing up a few lingering plot threads, which is what everybody wanted with She-Ra as well. Yeah. And then he goes on about the, the press releases um, and quotes, I'm in two minds of this announcement. You take a show like She-Ra and you can see why it works so brilliantly. It's a reinvention that picks up the best parts of the past. No, it doesn't. Run wild with it, runs wild with it, isn't afraid to craft a new story that feels wholly fresh. No, it's really stupid. I know that He-Man is beloved, but so was She-Ra, asshat. But have you actually watched an episode of that classic series lately? Yeah. Actually, yeah. It was not, it's not aged well. The cheese is thick. The cheese is thick. But trust me, She-Ra is no better. The new She-Ra show is no better. You have Scorpio running around fawning all over Catra the whole time. You now have Hordak, who's best friends with Entrapta and, has the, and clearly has a thing for her. She runs a complete waste of space who goes around geeking out and following like a puppy other characters. The best friends squad, and they fight with power of friendship and rainbows. Right, that is so not cheese. I, I mean, just call it cheese whiz and spread it on a cracker because it, it is as much of a cheese as the original. It's it's going to age very badly. I think 10 years from now, people are going to look back on, on She and be like, what the hell was I thinking? slumber parties and you know. I know really seriously I mean could you make it any more uh tumblr esque and cheesy but you know continue about the cheesy the original yeah the originals were cheesy but you cannot keep saying that when the original the new show is just as effing cheesy I just don't understand why they have to continually 
throw He-Man under the bus to promote the new She-Ra show that may or may not get a fourth season. They're using the announcement to throw shade at, at She-Ra and the classic series again. And fans, and again. Fans, again, this is all over. It's happening all over again. You know what's going to happen, right? Uh, you know, provide they don't go down the, the path of making it the Tila show. The trailer is going to come out. It's going to be a testosterone-filled action fantasy show. Like, like He-Man? Like actual He-Man. And they're going to complain about its toxic masculinity. Even if Tila winds up being the main character. Yeah, but if which... you ever watch the show, He-Man wasn't toxic masculinity. No, he wasn't. He actually wasn't allowed to, you know. This one, though, I'm like, this. they got the animation studio of Castlevania. I'm like, is He-Man going to be, like, dismembering Beastman with his sword? Well, it's going to be Netflix only, so they can get away with a lot more yeah, than the cartoon I mean, show. It could be, because he said, this is, Kevin Smith said, this is the show you wanted when you were 10 years old. And I'm like, if it means He-Man's, like, chopping off heads and stuff, it might. That's a little dark, but okay. Yeah, it's dark, but if it's on. Hell, I just wanted a She-Ra show that felt like She-Ra. I don't know what this pillow, slumber party, best friend squad, you know, everybody's full of love and happiness, no one's ever bad is. It's not She-Ra. Well, I, I have to wonder if Mattel isn't going to use this as a backdoor to Well, I hope so, because... But I'm so tired of hearing that He-Man's going to be cheesy and She-Ra's cheesy and all this other stuff because the new show is so much better. When you look at it, objectively, it's just as much full of cheese as the original. They have Seahawks singing stupid songs. Yeah. Singing shanties. But please tell me again how the 80s was cheesy. Keep camping it up there, Netflix, and, tell, and DreamWorks, and tell everybody else that the 80s was campy. Yeah, I know. I'm like, I you know. know what? Just stop. So, Find better arguments. <laughs> so I guess, are we going to wrap this one up? Yeah, because how much else I can say about okay, it. Okay, so we're going to wrap it up. We don't know where it's going to go. We just thought we had to do another video to talk about uh, uh, how it's probably going to focus on Tila. I don't know about that. And how the media is already uh, coming to She-Ra's defense. Uh, and it wasn't even about she It wasn't even about her. Second sentence of this article is all about, it brings on She-Ra. Half this article, more half this article is She-Ra. Yeah, they, they're making it all about She-Ra. So I think they're worried. I think they're worried that She-Ra might get canceled because they've got He-Man coming. I think Mattel actually would probably, if they could get the rights back, would do it. But I think they sold sold it off to DreamWorks and, and now it's like buyer's or seller's remorse. So I don't know, I don't know. So we're gonna wrap this one up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Rants. Oh yeah, there's a rant and a half. Okay, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com, that's clownfishsupport.com and if you want to join our community go to clownfishtalk.com that's clownfishtalk.com please subscribe ring the bell for notifications we will talk to you next time